Why do you guys hate me? Why? I mean, I ask you every now and then, hey, you know, if you're a viewer, you want me to t cover a certain topic, you know, shoot it, let, let me know, tell me what it is. You recommend something and then I have to go take an Advil because I've got a fucking, you know, splitting headache from listening to stupidness. Idiocy. <laughs> Nonsense dribble. So somebody, I think I opened up a can of worms by doing that whole like Christian, like Christian YouTubers video because somebody said, you really need to check out and go look at Girl Defined. I didn't know what Girl Defined was. I was hoping it was some kind of squirter porn site. I was all into it. I was like, how is it going to be on YouTube? Maybe some cool, you know, Gen Z person found a way around it and I could just, you know, go on YouTube. It won't be my search history as Pornhub. But no, Girl Defined is, and I did take notes. That's how you know it's serious. When Jay takes notes and uses a pen, all right, it's serious. Um, Girl Defined is a Christian channel. Already I'm in love. I think it's, I already know it's going to be tons of fun. It's not going to be too judgy. It's not going to be, and they're not going to tell you how to live your life. And they're definitely not going to ask for money because Jesus wouldn't do that, right? Wrong, <laughs> wrong. They hit, they hit every nail on the head with this one. So it's hosted by two really perky blonde girls who I believe are sisters, I think. And uh, the one's name is Kristen and the other is Bethany. Kristen's the hotter one. Yeah, Kristen's like, this, you know, Kristen's a good, like, good looking girl and like a good time chick, by the way. Used to be. I don't know what the frick happened. Or this is what happens when Christianity comes around. The fun goes out the fucking door. I don't care what they say. All right. And then there's her sister, uh, Bethany, which, um, you know, you know, she's a girl <laughs> and um, I'm sure she's fun sometimes. I, I have no idea. But sadly, the video that I did, the video that I watched was Battling's, I think it was called, no, it was called My Struggle with Sexual Sin. So I was all in for that one. And uh, she was talking about battling sexual temptation. And also what she mentioned was if you go on her Patreon, this is Kristen talking. It's like, if you go on my Patreon, you know, not only will we fleece you out of money every month, just like Jesus would do, um, you will also get a monthly book from us. Something every month you'll get crap from us. This month, what we're going to be offering, and girls, get ready, it's for you, come on, is... Um, struggling with sexual sin and being a girl or something like that. I don't know. It was like some pamphlet that she had that's going to tell you how to not, you know, finger bang yourself. Like, you know, because <laughs> Jesus would hate that for some reason. Where does it say thou shall not finger bang? What the fuck? Is, uh, where are these girls talking about? I went to a religious school. I went to a Christian school for eight years. Can you tell? But no, seriously, I, I didn't ever read anything about... Uh, okay, let's just break it down. So... How do I want to dive into this first? Let's go with the video first. Okay, her video was called Her Struggle with Sexual Sin. And this is Kristen talking. And Kristen goes on to say, you know, I want you all to know, you know, you're not a freak. You're not a freak if you struggle with sexual sin. I used to struggle with sexual sin all the time and turning my back on Jesus. I used to have, I mean, some Christian girls won't talk about it, but I'm a cool one, so I will. I used to have lots, lots and lots of lustful thoughts and thoughts about sex, thoughts about big swollen male members entering every part of my body and blessing me with the holy juice. God, that was horrible and I would pray. She also talks about how um, she really struggled with masturbation. It was something she went to a lot, a lot. She references this a few times in that video that she really struggled with masturbation. Sweetheart, you were smacking the clam and you were loving it. What's the problem? What's, what, what's wrong? She was just, you know, she was down in the woman canyon and she was, you know, letting her fingers do the walking. And she was having a great time. You sounded like a fun chick. This is a chick who would sit down, watch Pornhub with you. She probably slugged like a couple beers afterwards. Go home, you know, knock one out. <laughs> She's probably the type of chick that would tell you that too. Oh, God, no. I can't come to the party tomorrow. I'm just so horny now. I've got blue lady balls. I swear to God, I went to the bar. There was not one hot guy there. They're all like christian -y and whatever. She, they don't want to do anything. I know they especially won't, you know, do the pile driver. It's like, you know, God, I'm asking for Satan himself to come out or something like that. Anyway, I'm just going to bust the nut real fast when I get home. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. But she goes on to basically talk about how porn can be a struggle and she knows some girls who read erotica and that's a struggle what girls do you know that read erotica nowadays I, 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 isn't like what is this the 1950s i just and so then you know jennifer showed her ankle to the lonely boy walking down the street and she immediately got soaking wet and a weird feeling came over her. what girl has got the time to fucking i've never understood reading it Okay, ooh, that's good. That... Yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's, ooh, and then he did what? Like, I never got it. Maybe some people, maybe that's more of a girl thing. I don't know. But she was basically saying how that's bad, and she still struggles with it within her own marriage, which immediately to me meant anal. 
Is that the problem? Is that the struggle you're running with? Why don't they ask these girls the question, like, you know, girl defined? Here's what I want to know. Do you get it in the butt? That's what I want to know. Would Jesus not like that? Is there a scripture? You know, thou shall not take it in the nasty poopy tunnel. Thou shall not do that. That is only for the gay people who are already burning in hell. What do they think about gay people? I mean, I have a lot of questions for these chicks, but they're so interminably boring and chipper, and I, I can't, I can't fucking take it. First off, okay, you don't know shit about what Jesus wants. You don't. I guarantee it. You know why? You never talked to him. You've never spoken to Jesus in your entire life. Never. Maybe you've spoken to him. He's never answered back. And if he has answered back, that's called fucking schizophrenia. Take the pills. You know, just take them. The pharmacist gave him to and the psychiatrist for a reason. She, and the, she just goes on and on about, you know, like how, you know, you can be a pure person and purity, you know. And I know there's lots of books out there for porn with guys and stuff, but I wrote this one for the gals so they know how to get right on track with Christianity. Where does it say, thou shalt not pleasure thyself? Where does it say that? First of all, the book, the Bible is a constant contradiction. Once it, thou shalt not kill, but they're cool with killing in the Bible. You know, people are sleeping with each other's like sisters and shit like that. It's not a great book to base your argument off of. You know, I'm, I'm just sorry. There's too many like, you know, horrible, there's horrible stories in the Bible. It's worse than the Stephen King book. Remember the, the story in the Bible where the guy was basically punished by God and God's like, listen, I'm gonna see how much this fucker likes me. Hey, uh, you're gonna lose everything. Okay, I still love you guys, you're great. <laughs> okay, watch, watch this one. You know your son? Bring him up to the hill with a knife, you're gonna kill him later. Yeah, 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 just just do it, do it. Prove you love me, just do it. Watch this shit, it's great. Gets him up to the hill, ready to kill his son. I just wanna see if you love me or not. I let the little fucker live. That's, that's your book, that you're, that's your whole pretense that you're basing everything off of. That, that just is, the word of God, okay? Shut the fuck up. You don't know the word of God. Just be quiet. Just sit home. I mean, these are just annoying little girls that have to have a YouTube channel that, you know, and they talk about, I saw another video. Oh, by the way, her uh, sister, what's her name again? Bethany couldn't make the sexual dysfunction video or whatever it was because she had a migraine. It's because she didn't pray hard enough. <laughs> if you had prayed hard enough and been a good Christian, Jesus would not have put that migraine on you. You would have been absolutely fine so you could have spread his word. But instead, your sister had to talk about how she used to like to spread her legs a lot. And I think that's a great thing. I mean, honestly, she sounds like a great, I wouldn't want to marry this chick now, this holier than thou chick who's like, I'm sure she's one of those who would tell you though, like, we can still have fun. We still, I mean, we still do it. I mean, you know, we're not like totally weird. I mean, God, like once a year through a hole in the sheet, he gives it to me really hard. It's just, that's the way it is. But they have so many other like uh, how to live a like a pure lifestyle and ask me anything about, you know, their little Christianity and everything. And I watched that one and that was with her sister, you know, the homely one. <laughs> that was with her other sister, Bethany. And they were taking questions like um, assumption video. They'd ask somebody to do assumption video on them. They're like, people are like, I assume you're rich. They're like, um, no, we weren't. We grew up in like a 24,000 square foot house like everybody else did. No, something small. And you know, our parents worked and I drove a car that was as old as me for 10 years. I'm trying to do the math on that still. As old, let's say she drove a, a, a 20, she's 20, let, let's guess, she's 20, 21. She drove a 21 year old car or 22 year old for 10 years. Well, Jesus didn't love you enough to get, help you get another car. I mean, obviously he stopped, he's trying to stop you from spreading his word. He don't want you to go anywhere. He's letting you go on YouTube for now, <laughs> but that's pretty soon you're gonna get smited or something. There's a reason you had that headache, honey. But um, yeah, and this is what gets me when I looked a little bit more into these chicks. They have a Patreon, which, you know, what would Jesus do? He'd ask for a handout, right? And I'm not saying people shouldn't have Patreons or whatever. What are they using the money for? I'm sure they would tell you ministries and everything like that. Maybe the sister secretly is really, you know, pleasuring herself with a high powered vibrator and doesn't want to tell anybody. Maybe she saved up to get like a really good rabbit. <laughs> Wouldn't that be the thing? Like, just donate. Yeah, it's for a good cause. It's spiritual, spiritual. And she, finally, I got the mega jam. Like, my, she, she goes, well, no, you know, when they find her in her bed with it stuck somewhere upon her person and she's got her eyes rolled in the back of her head in, in, in a sex coma. I mean, I just think she sounded like she used to be a party and now she's just, oh, it's that great. Can you imagine her poor fucking husband? Jesus Christ. You used to have a really like, you know, wife who was down for anything chill and now she's found jesus he must have been like oh boy great that's gonna make our sex life awesome <laughs> i didn't have anything weird in mind at all I mean, gags or blindfolds and you know paper clips no that's awesome let's pray some more yeah can we can we do that really all right that's great they have a conference you guys girl defined conference i read it was like a 
oh, they have, first off, they have a mentorship program. Some bullshit there. Eight week mentorship. I couldn't watch to see what that meant because I had already almost gone into a boredom coma with these two chicks. I mean, I seriously, but seriously, eight week mentorship. What are you going to mentor people on? How to be as boring as you? Here's how to get rid of all the fun in your life and pretend you know what Jesus means even though you've never spoken to him. Here's how to do it. Give us money. Give us money and we'll tell you. Do they come to your house and annoy you for eight weeks straight? I mean, it's, it just walk around like that's a, a good Christian would drink Diet Pepsi, not regular Pepsi. I'm just letting you know. Part of the eight-week eight week mentorship program. And they have a conference. I saw highlights from this conference. They should have called it the Girls Who Don't Get Laid conference because that's all I saw. <laughs> I saw a bunch of girls who were aggravated, and I think I know why they were. <laughs> I think they were, maybe they're getting some, but not fast enough, long enough, and properly. That's the way I'll say it on the new YouTube PC thing, though. This will probably get me in trouble. They, uh, you know, people bought tickets, and they got to see these two idiot bitches run up on stage, and, you know, they didn't show what they were talking about, because obviously you'd hear it and be like, I'm never going to that kind of, who the fuck wants to listen to that? So, yeah, that kind of shit. The, there was a Christian band, it looked like, and they were jamming out, you know, like, Jesus is a rock star, or, you know, one of their hits, like, hey, you know, let's get crazy tonight and drink a little bit of the blood of Jesus. Not too much, just three drops. You know, the Beth, the Bethlehem Shuffle or some shit. <laughs> I don't know. And then they showed, they had inner, like individual workshops. They had like a crazy night where, you know, they come out and they, woo, and all these, you know, house frows are in the audience who are sitting there and like, woo, we got nothing better to do. <laughs> Nobody wants to date me. I don't know why. I really don't. <laughs> so I'm turning to Jesus because he's going to get me, he's going to get me right on track and he's going to get me laid. Uh, bottom line, do I think there's anything wrong with this? It's very culty to me. Anytime somebody says they're going to have a conference or they're going to have a, watch me have one, you know, at least I would give you a bang for your buck. I really would. I would, if I was going to do something like that, I would put on like an actual show. There would actually be stuff. You would get something from it. Not to hear these two girls talk about how much they love Jesus. You can go anywhere. I thought the church was free. Why all of a sudden is are you charging for shit? Who the hell are you? That's my problem with these Christian people. I swear to God. So yeah, I mean, are they really harming anybody? No, they're they're not the worst Christian channel that's out there. I mean, they're they seem fine and all that, but yeah, I just snooze in the sack. It sounds. I mean, I, I'm sorry. That's just what I got. That's all I got from her video. That's all I got. Maybe I'm a horrible sinner, evil person, and that's it. But yeah, but girl defined was girl boring. <laughs> was girl should have been interrupted. That's why her channel should be called <laughs> girl um, confused girl pretending she knows what she's talking about. You know, just some names to throw out there. Anyway, uh, gotta head out for now. And I will be doing a live soon. I didn't do the New Year's Eve live. There was, you know, nobody could get together and the whole thing there. And yeah, that's about it. Go to find. Be good. Girls, don't, don't, even, don't even look down there. I'm telling you.